Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton here, Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Thank you for joining me for another crafting video. Today I'm showing you a quick tutorial on how to make this cute waterfall card using the Zany Zebras stamp set. And this is one of the cards from my August class. So if you're participating in the class, then you will have received kits so that you can do two of these cards. So let's get started. I'm using the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, cut to 14.5 by 10.1. I'm just gonna put some glue and I'm gonna add a little bit of extra glue down the center of the Designer Series paper because we will have the mechanism on the front of the card, hanging off that card stock. Uh, hanging off that design series paper. So we want to make sure that it's nice and strong. I'm using Bermuda Bay cardstock. This is A4 that has been cut in half and then scored in half. So cut at 14.85 and scored at 10.5. We'll go ahead and stamp the inside of the card. <coughs> I'm just using the same Details is from the front of the card. The happy birthday, you party animal. The, the happy birthday and you party animal is actually two separate stamps. I've just got them on the same block. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and Whisper White cardstock for the inside. Just pop a little bit of glue. Okay, now for the mechanism, you're going to want just my foam folder to score that. All right, so we want to do the front, the mechanism. You will need three pieces of Whisper White cardstock. These are cut to five centimeters by six centimeters. And then I've also got three pieces of Bermuda Bay, which are five and a half by six and a half. Um, and then I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay, which is about five centimetres wide. And it's just the length of the A4 cardstock. So let's stamp our little zebras. I'm just doing one on each page, on each square. And you can put them on angles, or you can colour them in, you can use different colour inks if you like. If you've got um, some markers or some pencils, you can add a little bit of colour to them, but they do look super cute, black and white, because they are zebras. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue those onto my Bermuda Bay pieces. Okay, and then we want to <clears throat> put some score lines on our piece of longer cardstock. So this is five centimeters wide <laughs> by 21 centimeters long. It's only 21 centimeters long because that's the width of the cardstock. So we want to go ahead and score, and if you are 
part of my card class. I will have already done the scoring for you. Five centimetres. Add a centimetre and a half, so six and a half centimetres. Add a centimetre and a half, which is eight centimetres. And you'll notice mine has got an additional score line here. That's just because it was actually, um, I'd scored it down the middle of, uh, to be a card. So you can just ignore that. <laughs> um, and then the end, I'm using the uh, decorative tag punch. So again, if you're in my class, I will have already done this for you. This piece is obviously not quite five centimetres. That's all right, we'll make do. And center it up. Okay, and then you want to make sure that you fold these pieces and give them a nice straight edge. Okay, and we're going to glue our little zebras on there. I wanted mine sort of getting more excited along the way, so I'm putting this one last, this one in the middle, and this one at the top. So we're going to do them backwards. So start with the one that you want at the bottom, and you just want to add a little bit of glue across the top. It doesn't have to go all the way out to the edges. And then you just want to line it up with the score line. Next one up. Same process, just glue at the top. Line it up. And you also need to line this one up with the edges of this one. So just Run your fingers along the edge, make sure that they're nice and straight. And then the last one. And again, just squeezing in at the sides to make sure that it's lined up with the other ones. And pushed up to the score line. Okay. <clears throat> now the last piece that you'll need is nine centimeters long. It doesn't really matter how wide it is. I've just used a scrap, so mine's about a centimeter wide, but it can be one or two or three centimeters wide. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and fold those score lines in. So this is nine centimeters in length and it scored two centimeters from each side. So fold those over and, um, sorry, it's nine and a half centimeters long. So this bit here is five and a half centimeters. Okay, now we want to glue this bit on the back of this bit. Okay, and then we're going to fold this bit down and we're going to glue, put the glue on top. All right, so this is our mechanism. I 
and we're going to glue this on the front of our card. So make sure those little bits are tucked in behind. And just hold them in place for a minute to dry. Okay. So you can see now how he's working. And we're just going to stamp this sentiment here. Add some extra stars. <laughs> And you're good to go. Well, we'll put some ribbon on here as well. So you can tie a little bow or you can tie a little knot. It's up to you. But it's just a little signal to the person who receives your card that they should pull on the little tab. Just a little indicator there that they need to pull on that tab so that they can see how this little card works. How cute is that? I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. This is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com, using the Zany Zebras stamp set and making a waterfall card. If you have any queries, please let me know. And of course, as always, for the best deal, join my team. Thank you.